so guys what's up people welcome back to my youtube channel and this is a very very quick one i want to show you guys how you could add watermark on your images in capture one i did a video previously on how you could create a watermark using the um, websites that i dropped if you haven't seen that video watch this video to the end and just click on the icon and um this video is basically for capture one pro lovers like myself and you've been wondering how you could use add a watermark in capture one this is a very very quick tutorial and before we start make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel i try to create this channel so 500 subscribers please help me out encourage me by just clicking the subscribe button it's very very important so before we start let's hit the intro and continue from there so guys we capture one already and um, what what you want to do is um, to come to this setting here the setting button here and um, we have your process recipes and we have process recipes here also the, uh, i did a quick tutorial on how you could use capture one also and if you haven't seen that video please go watch that these are the export settings you could use in capture one this is the jpeg web use and this is the jpeg full is quality so in case you want to send a picture to your clients chat very fast so and um for copyright policy you would rather want to want to make sure that your watermark is on it so and the first thing you have to do is just to come here the the file this adjustment then this watermark so just click on the watermark and um, just come here select your image we created this dao's watermark in my last video if you want to now to create this watermark please go watch that video then just click on it and say open so as you can see here the watermark is placed there so we could increase the scale 400 you increase the scale to 400 the scale is to increase or reduce the size then you could click here and pan just move move it around and i, I don't want it here so i would rather change the scale a little bit reduce for that steel reduce for that steel zoom in zoom in and pan zoom out a little bit okay so as you can see this watermark here so i would rather bring it towards the side so there you go remember you could you could increase and reduce the size by clicking on the scale so i think this is okay then you can reduce the opacity also so i prefer leaving it as 100 then you can use this um horizontal and vertical for placement instead of using this this pan icon here which is uses to place your watermark and that's just so basic and straightforward no issue at all then um once you're done once you're done you could just come here and say process so process for whatever whatever quality you want you can process for instagram for quick proof um web use so i just leave it at highest quality and there's another way you could you could do this there's another way you could do this you could either use your text instead of your image so from the text i could just come here and write the ao ideology dao ideology as you can see the front size is here the ideology i could change i could change the font size from this for from this the font rather the font type from here I could use any one i could change the size use self two use bold depending on wherever you want so as you can see this is, this is it here you just drag it here your ideology so that's that's just basic and 
and like I said earlier, very 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 straightforward, easy peasy, no no problem at all. Then once you are done, same thing. I'm just bring out my my image pack. So I just use my image and export. So that's that's the end of this tutorial, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video and also if you have a question drop it in the comment section i'll be very very glad to answer most of the questions be a very quick one and bye you should take care of yourself peace out